So for tip number two, I'm building a bit on tip number one. I know this looks like somewhat of a rat's nest, but I'll try to be as precise with my verbal description as possible. We're using the uh, sine to square as the master clock. It's in the lowest uh, position, so the five cycles per second uh, square, and that's going to trigger function generator A, like it did last time. Function generator A, uh, the envelope is going to go out and what will be interesting is it's going down to function generator B and it's going into cycle. So every time this gets to the end, or as long as it's uh, the envelope is high, you can see function generator 2 is cycling, or B. And then I'm going to put this into um, the attenuated pitch in, and it's going to change the pitch. And then coming out of the pulse out of function generator B, going into C. C is going over to FM. And then D, like we had last time, it's self-cycling. This time it's a lower pitch. And then I'm taking the audio out of our square wave and modulating it. Uh, and you'll get to hear how all this works. So uh, let me take this out and this out, and I think we've got it. Okay, so uh, hope that uh, made sense. Now I'll just record it clean for you and go through the same moves. See you next time.